Here we're going to take a look at how to uh, place a Mercedes-Benz automatic transmission in outro. Now this procedure applies mainly to 2005 and newer Mercedes-Benz that have the 7-speed or the 9-speed transmission. And that's uh, one way to tell is if you got the uh, gear selector up here in the steering column. If you got an older model, 2005 and uh, before, um, or older, you will need to, um, there's ways to manually override the shifter and put that on neutral, but that's more a mechanical way on the gear selector on the center console there, uh, you can override. But on this is a little bit more tricky. Now, um, if you were just trying to push the vehicle around, let's say what you'll need to do is you'll take the key and if your vehicle has start stop, you can just pull the button and then use the key or you can just press that start stop twice without pressing the brakes in this case um we we don't have the start stop install so you insert the key two clicks one two so you can see there uh that's two clicks the vehicle uh didn't start but the ignition is on now press the brakes and then press down now we're in drive as you can see there now press forward one time now you can see we're in neutral a vehicle will start in neutral or park, um, but if you go in reverse, it's not going to start. Now here in neutral, we can push the vehicle around. So if you need to push the car or anything like that, um, that's where you want to be. Uh, you do want to uh, be careful with this procedure because if you put the vehicle in neutral and you're not applying the brakes, the vehicle will start to roll and you can cause an accident. Now, there's a few rare cases that you might need to have the vehicle in park, I'm sorry, in neutral and turn off the ignition. As you can see here, as soon as you turn off the ignition, it goes automatically to park. So um, this is where it gets uh, challenging. Um, what you could do is you can turn on the ignition, put the vehicle in park, and then uh, put it in reverse or in drive, then put it in neutral. And now the next step is to, um, if, if you're gonna need to roll the vehicle around, make sure you do have the parking brakes released. Um, but again, before you do that, make sure that you have at least blocked the wheels and the car is just not gonna roll off. Um, but if you have the parking brakes released there and you have the vehicle in neutral over here, now the next thing that you can do is you can go ahead, engine off, um, disconnect the auxiliary battery on most cars is right down here that small battery that small battery is what puts this vehicle in park when the main battery um, is down or is not functioning so you will need to disconnect both batteries so first disconnect the auxiliary battery over here and then next while the vehicle is in neutral you can go and disconnect the uh, main battery uh, you can disconnect the negative terminal from that um, and that the car will tow and die you can remove at that point you can remove the key from the ignition and then the vehicle will stay on neutral transmission is never going to shift back um, in park on its own because it has no power and this is uh shift uh, shifts into park drive and neutral uh, using um you know a, a power module so if you cut the power to it the vehicle will, transmission will stay in neutral uh, very unlikely you don't you're gonna need to do that, uh, but in uh, rare cases that you might, uh, it is a little bit more complicated if you wanna turn off the vehicle, turn off the ignition, but yet keep that transmission neutral. So uh, that's all, and thank you for watching.